Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, this just broke yesterday. Cardinal Zen was arrested in Hong Kong. We're gonna just take a quick look at three articles that came out. Here's the basic gist from Church Pop. The communist police force in Hong Kong arrested Cardinal Joseph Zen, the former Bishop of Hong Kong on Wednesday, May 11th. Authorities charged the 90 year old Cardinal of alleged uh, collusion with foreign forces after helping pro-democracy protesters with legal and medical expenses through his leadership in the 612 Humanitarian Relief Fund. We want to see why the Communist Party is so afraid of Cardinal Zen. We want to ask how, what, what should we do living in a country where the government is desirous of more and more control? And we'll look at what at least two bishops have had to say. Before we do that, I want to invite you to become part of our Locals community. Locals is a free speech platform and we run morning podcasts every day. I just got done doing one with almost 100 people. We drink coffee together. It's a real laid back, casual conversation. You, just, you can watch these for free just by signing up on Locals. Um, you can obviously give more financially if you want over there and then we give you more in return but you can watch all of those morning live stream things and the reason I want to build this community is because I trust that maybe soon maybe sooner than later maybe I don't know um, big tech is gonna crack down on Catholic voices and so that's why we're doing this it's nice to be able to speak openly about things you know to go against secular dogma I did this whole video on transgenderism several months back I was pretty convinced it was going to get me banned. Um, and I shared it with the heads of locals, right? And these people aren't Christian. And they were both like, that's awesome. I'm like, oh my gosh. All right, man, let's do it. So go check out mattfrad.locals.com. There's a link in the description below for you to sign up if you want to get access to these daily podcasts that you can't get anywhere else. All right, now, um, so even though he, he was arrested, let's see here. The charges come in response to Hong Kong's National Security Act, which criminalizes pro-democracy protests. Non-compliance with the law could result in a lifetime of imprisonment. Authorities released the former bishop on bail, but he maintains the alleged charges. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's arrested again. Now, why are they so afraid of him? Well, in uh, well, let's look here at, in the Washington Post. It sums it up. He is a threat to the Chinese communist regime, still powerful as a force of resistance in the Hong Kong Catholic Church. Zen was the last inspiring symbol of Hong Kong's democratic movement untouched by the Chinese security apparatus. So the atheistic com communist country of China broke relations with the Vatican, I think back in the 50s. Since that time, Pope Francis has sought to kind of unite this like fake communist church which, which, with the actual Catholic church. But what's happening is Beijing, right? Atheist Beijing is choosing the candidates to become bishops. And then Pope Francis chooses from among them. Zen has been really outspoken on this. Uh, for example, Zen had once sought to build bridges with China's Communist Party controlled Catholic Church by visiting Beijing approved seminaries in mainland China. But he also said those experiences showed him the lack of religious freedom in China and fed a deep distrust of the officially atheist ruling party. Oh, here it is. China broke off relations with the Holy See in 1951 after the party took power and established its own church. Foreign priests were expelled and many of their Chinese colleagues spent decades in prison or labor camps. In recent years, the Vatican, particularly under Pope Francis, has been eager to reach a deal with the Chinese government and unite the churches. Zen was especially scathing, and you can watch videos of this online, of attempts by some in the Vatican to reach an arrangement with the party on the appointment of bishops on the mainland, a power traditionally wielded by the Holy See, which Beijing claims for itself. In 2018, he warned that a deal between the Vatican and China that cedes too much authority to Beijing would place the country's practicing faithful Catholics um, in a birdcage. This is what he said. The communist government just wants the church to surrender because they want complete control, not only of the Catholic church, but all the religions, Zen said at the time. And so like my thought right now is like, what 
how do we as a church act in a country, I'm from the United States, well, I live in the United States, that's seeking to gain more and more control, control of institutions, but just control of narrative. Jen Psaki was asked recently her opinions, her opinion on those birth clinics that were vandalized by pro-aborts. And it was just this like wimpy, like we don't condone violence. It's like, okay, well, terrific. Can you do more than that? Um, what's our response? What should our response be? Let us know in the comment section below what you think about that. Hey, and while you're down there, click that subscribe button and that bell. That way, even though Google is not thrilled about the stuff we're pumping out here, you will be notified if you click that notification bell. So please subscribe and click that notification bell. All right, now at least two bishops have responded to this and they're the usual fellas, God bless them. Bishop Thomas Tobin, he says, pray for Cardinal Joseph Zen, 90 years of age, who has been unjustly arrested by the Chinese communists and for all those in the world who suffer for their Catholic faith. Those separated by distance, we stand in complete solidarity with today's heroes and martyrs. And then Strickland, God bless him, says, thank you, Bishop Tobin and others for your support of Cardinal Zen. Let us pray that all bishops, priests, deacons and faithful join us in prayer and call for justice for Cardinal Zen. Now, to my knowledge, Pope Francis, I think the Vatican has, there's been like this line I keep reading in the news articles that the Vatican is concerned over Cardinal Zen's arrest. Be nice if we were a little bit more than concerned. Um, when Cardinal Zen, I think it was back in 2018, but it may have been as late as 2020, sought an audience with Pope Francis to discuss um, how these this unification of these churches and ceding power to Beijing would be detrimental to Catholics in Hong Kong, I don't believe he received an audience. If you know different, please correct me in the comment section below. So a couple of things, maybe reach out to your local bishop on Twitter, maybe reach out to Pope Francis on Twitter and tell him, please make a statement about this. This is really serious. What do you think we can learn from this as Catholics in the United States of America, or if you're in a different country, what can we as Catholics learn from this? Let's offer a Hail Mary right now for Cardinal Zen and all faithful Catholics in Hong Kong. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God bless. Thank you.